Today I'm going to teach you how to wash your jeans. This washing method is tailored for raw and selvage denim, but can work for non-selvage and non-raw denim as well. Here is everything you'll need. You will need your jeans, obviously, a container or a tub large enough to fill with water, detergent, this is wool light dark, and that's pretty much it. Let's begin. First things first. Make sure there is nothing in your pockets before washing your jeans. Next, you want to fill your tub or container with cold water. Washing clothing in cold water prevents excess shrinking and bleeding. After that, you want to fill your tub or container with a little over a teaspoon worth of detergent. I'm using Wool Light Dark as Wool Light Dark helps maintain the color of the fabric on the denim. Essentially, Wool Light Dark minimizes the loss of indigo. You'll want to agitate the water a bit as to evenly distribute the soap within your tub or container. Next, turn your jeans inside out uncuff them and place them in the water. It's a good habit to turn your best or most valuable clothing inside out when you wash it. That's why I do it here with my denim. Once the jeans are fully submerged, agitate the jeans for about one to two minutes. This agitation is similar to what happens during the movement of clothing in a washing machine. But the benefit to washing your jeans by hand is that you aren't putting as much stress on the fabric as a machine would. Flip the jeans to the other side and make sure all compartments of the denim are being agitated. Next. Let your jeans rest in the water for 15 minutes. By doing this, you allow the water to loosen up all the germs and dirt locked in the denim. After those 15 minutes, drain the dirty water and press out the excess water stored in the jeans. If you look closely, you'll be able to see the blue indigo leaving the fabric. I always think this is really cool. Refill the tub or container with clean, cold water. Then, re-agitate the jeans until all of the soapy water is extricated from the fabric. After that, let your jeans rest in the water for another 15 minutes. Once that final 15 minutes has passed, drain the water and dry your jeans. Your denim is going to be very wet and very heavy. I personally press out all of the excess water in my denim, and before I let them hang dry, I use a towel and roll the jeans in the towel attempting to soak up all the water locked in the jeans. The final step is to let your jeans hang dry. They should be ready to wear in 12 to 19 hours depending on how hot or cold the climate is in which you're drying them. How often you wash your jeans will affect the type of fading your jeans produce. Washing your jeans more will lead to more vintage and uniform fading, while washing your jeans less will lead to more high contrast fading. My recommendation is washing your jeans once they begin to feel greasy or smelly. For this pair of sugarcane Okinawas, I have washed them three times within their first 75 wears. The first wash was within the first 30 days. The second wash, I was at a farm and washed them a week after the first wash. And the third wash has come 30-ish days following the second wash. I'd recommend hand washing your raw slash selvage denim at least for the first three washes before you use a washing machine. I also personally never put my jeans in a dryer. If you have any additional questions, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more fashion content like this.